Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's your girl at Miss Dosila Ogola. If you are new here, Karibu Sana, I see you. I see all my new subscribers. Welcome to this beautiful, beautiful space. I hope this space inspires you, motivates you, and encourages you and just uh, gives you life, you know. So I really did not have any intention of doing another Benjamin Zulu. <laughs> video you know review and uh until i saw another video and i was like mm, maybe i should say something i've actually been thinking about it for some time and um i was just like maybe i should say something then on my filming day i'm like this is the video that's really on my heart and this is really what i want to share my thoughts on as usual this videos are not to bash anyone they're not to discredit anyone they're not to make anyone look bad it's just a video that i'd love to use to share my thoughts my opinions and just as i said or i've said before opinions are like belly buttons everybody has theirs and uh, this is mine and if if you agree with me that's okay if you disagree with me that's perfectly okay as well so the video is about why he left after sex relate i don't know if you relate to that but um let's 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 hear what he has to say honey questions of ladies explaining how the connection was wonderful and this narrative will hear it from many places our connection was wonderful it was magical there was chemistry we were doing well talking about future discussing where we're going together you know <laughs> And then you imagine you found the one. Your stars aligned. The hand of destiny. One lady told me, I thought the hand of destiny was upon us. I believed it. It's super interesting that with a lot of these relationship counselors, especially if they are men, they attract a lot of women. And these relationship counselors have a lot of advice for women and not men. According to me, I'm just like, speak to your gender. It's just an observation because it's not just him. Um, another one, although this one is international, he's called Derek Jackson. A lot of his followers are women. And I've noticed as well with Benjamin that a lot of his followers um, are women. And women tend to have a lot of these burning questions. And I'm like, if if clearly you see that there are more women complaining about these men, why address the women? Address the men. Anyway. Until we had the sex. And then interest sagged. He was no longer as excited. I was the one now to call and he wouldn't respond as quickly. He wouldn't get back as quickly. He wouldn't pick calls. He started having excuses not to talk to me. He started avoiding me. And the ladies were not even mentioning sex. It was okay. So one of the things that I feel like plagues our society is the fact that we look at men as creatures who are just after sex and women are looked at as, you know, what the longer you hold on to sex, the more value or worth you attach to yourself. Which, in my opinion, I feel like is very, very flawed. Not all men just want sex from a woman. You know, that's just not the only thing that they want. But when we look at them in that way, after now the sex has happened, now us as women, we get into that place of, okay, now I've given him everything that I think I could ever, ever give him. Well, I'm like, eh, no. And then what happens after that? After he goes home, you go home or wherever, what do you do? You start calling him, texting him, not from a place of love, not from a place of worth, but from a place of fear. And you're like, you're scared. Oh, I've given him the most important thing, guy. Now he will run. Now he will not stay. Now he will not be with me. And I feel like that cements the, I, the, why women tend to act the way they do, um, especially after the sexual encounter. People think having sex when you're already genuine in love with a person, it's no big deal. We are already in love, we are planning our future, we are as good as one. Anyway, we have to we will have a future together. <laughs> that is the language, that is the thinking. We even getting to know each other better. We are strengthening our connection. <laughs> That is the thinking. And why would I keep a person who might tool it up? I think what happens is, especially when it comes to um, sex in a relationship or casual dating or whatever, is number one, people will have sex. It's just a fact. It's out there. Some will be planned. Some will be unplanned. 
uh we prefer the planned one than the unplanned but <laughs> the bottom line is that people will engage and that's that's just the truth there's a lot of comments and they're like oh thank you for being the bini call but the truth of the matter according to me like the way i say it is half of the people on there online they're probably having sex and they're having sex outside of marriage so for me i'm just like the hypocrisy had the question is, when people get into these relationships or this casual dating, are people communicating? For me, like, that's what I feel like it's really, 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 like, the issue. If a relationship just ends after the sex, that relationship was already in breakdown, honey. You know, like, it was already in breakdown because it means someone is not communicating honestly. It means someone is not ready to communicate honestly. It means somebody deceived someone, you know. People don't talk about these things. People don't talk about, so are we having sex or not? You know, like, and if you're having sex, like, after we've had the sex, do we talk about it or not? You know, like, everything is left out in the air and it becomes awkward because, of course, we've made sex awkward. We've made it a taboo topic. We've made it we don't talk about it. We've made it we, sh we, we act like we don't want it, but when we are there, we want it. Like, it's such a weird thing. Like, it's... Even for me, like I'm trying my very best to undo and unlearn a lot of these things so that I can be at a more positive and at a more healthier place for myself. You know, like even if our relationship ended after the sex, let's talk about it. Let's be honest about it. Let's come to the table and talk about it. Uh, hungry. I can, I mean, we are not. <laughs> sex is no big deal. That's the thinking. Let me tell you the problem. Sex is not the same inside and outside marriage. Other thing is this. People insist that sex is a big deal but still don't want to talk about it. The irony. You know, it's a big deal. Oh, you're fine. It's a big deal. Let's sit down and talk about it. Let's, are we doing it or not? What does it mean to you? You know, like, what sexual traumas have you, do you have? Like, there's so many things to discuss. And of course, the things that are very sensitive and all of that but the general conversations on you know what what does sex mean to you are we doing this or not and then teaching people to be honest i feel like dating in nairobi there's zero to like zero <laughs> honesty people are people are not honest with who they are people are not honest with what they want but then again also expecting honesty from these people who are not even honest with themselves is also such a weird thing to just put yourself through you know so i would say marriage is a very different affair when you're already married you are committed to each other it's an ingredient of the connection it's part of the connection it's part of the magic you're doing life together it's for procreation it's it's, it's like other things you do together you enjoy sex and sex. Yes, and I agree with him. Like sex within a committed relationship, a marriage, zero experience, but I would love to believe that it's 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 beautiful, it's wonderful and all of that. Outside of marriage as well, it can be all of those things. And also still inside of marriage it can be your worst nightmare. So it's not for me personally, I wouldn't say it's about the ring. Um, when it comes to marriage, it's about the communication, it's about the openness, it's about the conversations that need to be had, it's about all of that other than a ring or whatever. Play together, time together, out in together, it's, 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 it's now in its right context. God intended sex to be in, in the right context. When you inside marriage, sex is a very different affair. It's building, it's the feeling is... He brings in the biblical aspect of it, which at some point I subscribed to that. Um, okay, no judgment here. <laughs> I know a lot of my Christian friends, y'all are going to be triggered, but um, yeah, um, I'm okay with it. We can have a conversation on it, we can agree to disagree, and that's, that's okay with me. Like, I'm learning to own my opinions to own my thoughts to own my views to own my growth in whatever direction that 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 comes in i used to think like that as well but at the moment i really do not subscribe to that for people who hold on to that belief it's still okay it's still fine no judgment um no pressure to do anything you don't want to do and that should be the conversation don't do nothing you don't want to do honey Different. there's no guilt after the sex but now outside marriage even if even if you are engaged, even if you are already... Okay, he brought in another word, guilt after the sex. 
which I feel like this guilt, especially if you have subscribed to the biblical aspect of it, you will definitely probably feel some guilt. For most people, it's not because the sex wasn't good. It's not because the sex wasn't liberating and all of that. <laughs> it's not because of that, but because you have aligned yourself to a particular belief literally all your life and you feel like you're betraying something or someone by um, living contrary to that belief. Any boyfriend, girlfriend, even if he has come to your home, even if you have known his people, even if, as long as you're not yet husband and wife, sex has the following effects. It feels like your partner's in crime. The chemistry is very high because it's like you're stealing it. Uh, but after you've done it, it's always accompanied with guilt and awkward feeling. Partners in crime, the chemistry is high because you're stealing it. Yeah. Okay, me personally, I feel like the guilt is there because someone is not being honest to themselves. That's one. Not because you're stealing from anyone or you're stealing from a future marriage that's probably not even gonna be there with this person. So I don't know, like it's... Huh? That awkward feeling. Very bad. Because it was motivated. If you're a guy and you take off because of that awkward feeling, please let me know below. Like, uh, for me, I feel like people take off because they're just... Let's deal with the immaturity, honey. Like, okay, so it's okay for you to be able to see someone naked, but you can't have a conversation about why when you saw each other naked. Like, I'm just like, huh? Make it make sense. Like, it's just conversation. Have a conversation about it. And you don't owe anyone anything. Just because you were with a woman, it does not mean you need to be in a relationship with them. It does not mean you need to pursue a relationship with them. In that moment, if you were consenting adults, and uh, when I say consenting, enthusiastic consent, that's what I mean. If it's consent, enthusiastic consent, two people, you know, Muli agree. Mukasama, this is what we're doing and all of that good stuff. So I don't see why you can't have a conversation about it. You don't owe anyone a relationship, but maturity is conversation. That's what I think. My last, you need to compromise principles to do it. You know both of you are doing something you're not supposed to be doing, but you justify it in your head. You justify it like there's no much difference. We are one problem is the guilt, the embarrassment, the awkwardness that comes after it. That's one reason the man leaves. You don't want to face that again. Or if he comes back, he's coming. <laughs> embarrassment. Why would you? The both of you agreed. Why? Why is embarrassment coming in? Why are you embarrassed? I mean, first of all, there's that thing about sex and the shame that is around it. You know, like it's so weird. You know, people are engaging, but there's so much shame in it. There's so much fear in it. I mean, if it's such a big deal, can we just have a conversation about it? Before marriage, it takes it takes a center stage. You no longer talk. You no longer going out there to enjoy the environment, or you must facilitate it every so often. Once you... It takes maturity to not make the sexual beat of the of the relationship the center stage of your relationship. It takes maturity. It takes two people that are very honest with one another. It takes two people that are very realistic with life and people that want to commit to each other. It does not have to take center stage. I grew up being told that if if you get into a sexual relationship with a person, that's everything you're gonna be doing. That's everything you're gonna be thinking. That's, you know, like, that's all. It's gonna be end all, be all of that relationship. Honestly, if your relationship breaks down because of sex, there are other things breaking down either way. You know, like, it was gonna end either way. I'm not even gonna finish this video, but one of the things that I want to say is this, especially to my girls out there, you know, not everyone has the level of maturity and not everyone will be available especially most guys for that conversation i mean even after sex your worth does not deplete you are still who you are you're still beautiful you still deserve the best you still deserve a loving partner and all of that beautiful stuff and your worth has not depleted it's okay to feel sad about a relationship ending no matter how long that relationship was even if you do each other for three weeks and it ends it's okay to feel sad about it but it is not okay to attach your worth to that sadness 
to start beating yourself down or oh, maybe he left me because i'm cheap or maybe he left me because of this or maybe he left me because i wasn't good enough or maybe it's okay to be sad about it ended and you had a connection it had a, it was a beautiful connection and all of that but don't attach that sadness to who you are don't attach that sadness to your worth and that's the thing about this purity culture that is out here that is personally for me i find it very toxic in some way teach people to have healthy engagements teach people to have healthy conversations about this topic teach people to to grow up basically <laughs> and to talk about it because if it's really a big deal then we can have a conversation about it am i saying that it will go the conversation will have the best outcome no you're not in charge of the outcome of the conversation but once you let go of this person uh and you let go of that relationship whether you had sex or, or not i mean your worth does not deplete don't hold on to that stuff don't do that shit to yourself don't go around thinking that you're holding on to your sex as a cookie for some guy no like and also don't treat men as if that's the only thing they're interested in Huh? And then this idea that it's only men who are interested in um sex. Even women are interested. I mean, the issue here is conversation. Let people have more conversations on this topic. Teachers to speak about it, teachers to be open about it. Um empower us to talk about it. Empower us to choose because that's the thing. You'd rather have someone who has chosen to have sex with a person than someone who just um ends up having sex with someone um an unplanned occasion and now they have to deal with the consequences as, and they could have easily planned for that event taken measures to take care of themselves and all of that that's way better than telling someone don't do it don't do it don't do it and then they go ahead and do it because you know what it's life it's nature it's you like it's it's bound to happen <laughs> for most people at least yeah vow of celibacy teach people to listen to themselves you know listen to your own body listen to what you need um listen to your own beliefs what you think you believe is true question your own beliefs and ask yourself does this belief work for me i know this can be triggering to a lot of people but <sighs> freeing to me to just share my thoughts and my opinions on the topic so if you agree or disagree let me know in the comment section keep the space uh respectful <laughs> and uh love you guys thank you for watching this video and i hope i can be able to do more videos for you guys